Hi guys and welcome back to anti Meta Dimensions. So as you can see we have a hundred thousand infinity points. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm going to buy another level of this. And then I am going to max out both of these auto buyers. And I had just enough infinity points. And now I'm gonna break infinity. So, here's what this does. This, well, right off the bat, you can see it unlocks new upgrades, and um, I'll go over some of these upgrades. But, the big thing is it will let us get past E308 antimatter, and um, we'll be able to get more infinity points the more antimatter we have. But, I told you a few episodes ago about scaling when the when the cost increase of something starts accelerating. So this tick speed here, and these dimensions here, um, the costs multiply by a certain amount on each purpose purchase. But, once I break infinity, that multiplier will multiply by 10 on each purchase. So, this tick speed upgrade would go from like E308 to E309, like a normal jump, and then, it, and then the cost multiplier would go from 10 to 100, so then it would go to E311, then E314, and so on. It would start accelerating. So I'm going to do this, and you're going to have to turn off this auto buyer, but you can be crunched for more infinity points. So, and then it tells you how many infinity points per minute you have. You want to try to find out where that peaks. So it looks like it gets to like 35 very quick, so let's Let's do 35 and see how many infinity points per minute we get. Oh, and we want to set max galaxies to 1,000, just because we we just want as many galaxies as we can. So let's see how many... Oh, and turn off automatic dimension boosts. Um, so let me just see where it looks like it might peak. It looks like about 175. So, let's see. How many infinity points per minute we're going to get out of this. 2.29 thousand. And it unlocks these new upgrades. Um, but, I'm also going to mention here, it says here, get 1e1100 antimatter to unlock a new dimension. We can't do that yet, but... Um, we'll be able to do that eventually. Is this where it peaks? It seems to be peaking at like 2.43 thousand, so maybe I'll reduce this to 170. You just have to experiment. 165 might work. Let's see what it's giving. Okay, that seems pretty good. 2.45 thousand infinity points per minute. Um, is there a faster way of doing this? Um, maybe if I hold M down, it will be faster. There we go, now we're getting 7,000. We'll upgrade this bulk buy. We'll upgrade everything to 16 times bulk buy. So holding M will help with the infinity point gain. Um... So we're going to get 10,000 infinity points for the first breaking infinity upgrade. Power up all dimensions based on total antimatter produced. So I'm going to go over some of these. So these four are just normal dimension multipliers. They're not that good. But then this one is based on the slowest normal challenge run. So we're going to have to revisit challenges once we get that. And this one makes galaxies 50% stronger. It's absolutely overpowered, and it will make the game go super fast for a while. Um, because it's going to be quite slow until you get this. You passively generate infinity stat based on your past this infinity. That basically means that this number here will passively increase, and this boost will also increase. I'm going to buy this now. Um, and now, maybe, and now, because I got a boost to normal dimensions, let's see where it peaks now. It looks like we can get 9,000 per minute. I'm going to go at, like, maybe 185. It looks best. Let me just 
Let's see. How many am I getting? 9,000. That's, that's pretty, that's fine. Um, um, and we're pretty far away from this, but we'll get it eventually. So, this one, it lets you buy max dimension boosts. And so right now, you have to buy all the dimension boosts and it slows you down. But once we get this, we will want to start getting dimension boosts. This one, auto buyers work twice as fast. It will just make it so that holding M won't be as important. And these last three are repeatable. This one generates more infinity points because this will become useless. Um, this one basically generates based on your um, last few infinities. And then these two, um, this one goes down to two times and this one goes down to three times. So the tick speed cost multiplier, I said it went from 10 to 100 to 1,000 to 10,000. But when we get this, um, so how much antimatter have we made? E666. Let's just, for fun, I'm just going to see how much antimatter I can make. Um, I'm going to just, let's see if I can get six galaxies. I'm just going to dimension boost. And once it gets slow, I'm going to try sacrificing. I just want to see how much I can get. Oh, E700. That's pretty good. You can probably get a sixth galaxy if I keep dimension boosting and I sacrifice. Ah, there we go. Oh, that's the faster than a potato achievements. Nice. There's also an achievement just for breaking infinity. Let's I just I don't think we can get seven galaxies yet. But I just wanted to see how much antimatter. So that's E eight hundred and sixty. But I'm gonna turn this back on. And now that powers up this upgrade, but I just sort of wanted to see how much I could get. Um I might go for thirty two times bulk buy, I mean why not? It's kinda cheap. And don't forget to be upgrading this. Um we're clearly not ready to get the new dimension. We just got up to E eight hundred sixty. And so this one goes down to two times. So I was gonna say when it's two times, the tick speed cost multiplier will go from ten to twenty to forty to eighty to hundred sixty and so on. So we'll be able to get more tick speed upgrades. This one is the same but for dimensions. Um this one's actually a little bit stronger. So now I've covered all of these upgrades. So I'm going to see you when we can get this one. Okay guys, I'm back. I noticed that it went up to about 10,000 um at like 400 or like 390 infinity points, so I decided I would turn that on, turn this up for a small boost. I don't have 50,000 infinity points yet, but I just noticed that literally 10 seconds after um I um, cut, so um, I'll see you when we get 50,000 infinity points. For real this time. Okay guys, I'm back. As you can see, I'm up to 50,000 infinity points. Just a minor change. I changed this to E380. No, 380. Because I noticed that I could get over 11,000 infinity points per minute. So I'm going to get this power up all dimensions based on current antimatter. So now I'm just going to turn this off and... Oh wow, is that 20,000 infinity points per minute? I'm going to try like 430 because I can get there super fast. Maybe even 420. Let's see. Um, How many? Um, Wow, that's over 20. It's like inconsistent. Maybe 425? Uh, I don't know. Seems okay. Should tell you where it peaks, to be honest. We're getting like around 20,000. It's usually equal to the peak. Um, so, again, I'm just. For fun, I'm just gonna see how much antimatter I can get, because why not? Just have to get dimension boosts. Uh, 
and then I'm just gonna see. I can probably get even more than E eight hundred sixty five. Let's just see. Okay, E eight hundred and seventy. Looks like I'm wait. E eight hundred eighty. It looks like I'm capped at around there. So I'm gonna turn that back on. Um so I've made E eight hundred eighty antimatter. So I'm gonna get this power up all dimensions based on amount infinity. But then after that there's not really anything else we can get, so I think we're gonna end the episode pretty soon. Um but anyway, I'll, I'll see you when I can get this. Okay, guys, as you can see, we're up to 100,000 infinity points. And I'm kind of debating whether to get this upgrade or this upgrade. I think I'm just going to get this. Now let's turn this off and see how many infinity points we can get. We can get a little bit more. Like, I was getting, like, E20,000. No, t just 20,000 per minute before. I keep saying E. It looks like it's, like, 470. So it's, like, a... It's like a minor boost. Um, let's see, let's see. I'm 24, 25. We're around 25,000. That's, that's fine. Um, I'm going to get this upgrade. But then, I think after that I'm going to end the episode because the next thing costs like a million. I think I'll go up to 64 times bulk buy. Like, you want to be upgrading the bulk buy in the early break infinity era, but after that it's not very useful. So, we have... So we have a... I saw we had about like 408 dimensions, and so... Um... We don't need any more than 64 times bulk buy. You might need more on the early dimensions, though. Um, there's this achievement for getting all of them to um, 512 or higher. Um, and you need to um, basically just get it above 512. It usually happens when you get it up to um, 1024. Um, and once we do that, we usually don't need to upgrade bulk buy anymore. Like, that achievement is a good, like, telltale sign that we've upgraded bulk buy enough. So, I'm going to see you, um, when we can get this upgrade here. So, see you then. Okay, guys, I can afford this upgrade now. But before I do that, I want to just see how much antimatter I can get. I just like doing that. I'm just gonna dimension boost. I do this way too often. I just really like it. I just just because like antimatter is like the main currency of this game, and I just want to like know like how much I have. E eight hundred ninety. Let's just see. E900. That's pretty good. So, I'm going to turn this on. Let's see how many infinity points we're going to get while offline. 9,000 per minute. Um, Can we get higher than that? Doesn't look like it. So, yeah. Hope you enjoyed. And I'll see you guys later.